And let's just talk about the duration of each one of these chords. You know, first of all, the idea starts on the upbeat. We're going in one and two and three and one and two and three and one, two, three, one, two and one and two uh -huh. and three. So there it is. It's one, two, three, four, five and one and two. variations on this and it might go that just the way you wrote the lines sometimes you go switch there uh, actually yeah. I've seen it happen both times anyway so ver version one where there's an extra beat uh, or a missing beat here we're going Second version was one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Or it could be both of them. It could be that you go one, two, three, one, two, and one, two, and three, and one, two. And that would put the whole song in five. But truth is, you don't do it the same way um, every time. So yeah, yeah when I was writing the song, so figure out where, has where those go. Let me just first person check for a second, and I'll, uh, I'll start a little bit. Hey, Cool. So uh, let's just start out starting with the most important thing you're going to do this week, as far as like long-term projects. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing. I'm always like, is this a long-term project or a short-term project? Mm -hmm. Figuring out what to do during the chorus of this song is a short-term project. Getting comfortable strumming is a long-term project. So, mm -hmm. also, you know, when you learn first position chords, memorize the names of them. Just like you meet a new person, you're going to decide to remember their name rather than being like that guy that really just takes awareness of the What do you mean by first position chords? Uh, the ones back here, C. Oh, yeah. The, norm, yeah. the normal ones. The first yeah. position means down here, same thing as saying open chords as opposed yeah. to bar chords or up the next stuff. Um, I know those, but I don't know them when I move them. <laughs> yeah, cool. Anyway, so just I'm talking about literally when we play them down here, just knowing their names when you learn them or whenever they come up. Hey, so we're just strumming. First one is just down, 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 more realistically for you. It's going to be one of two things. You're going to go fake pick. same strings where you don't hit these too hard, or you might go just using your thumb. This is going to make up always feel wrong. So the most important one we're going to do is rhythm two, where you're just going down, up, down, up, down, up. That's really going to force, you know, I'm playing E minor here just because it's all six strings. So going, you know, just, just deciding how you're going to you're never going to strum ever. Um, so that's the trick right there is rhythm to figuring out how you want to handle it. And again, troubleshooting wise, it's that when you start the, me the movement here, it's always going to sound like if you hit all the strings. And that's why you're doing what you're doing subconsciously right now. So either it's going to go, you, you know, you're going to need to unanchor from here and just use your whole thing, whether you're strumming with your thumb or your fake pick or whatever. Um, you know, so. Anyway, so yeah, probably it'll be one of three things. It'll be your whole hand, like whap. It'll be just your thumb. I think that's the worst option because that could get you. So we want up strums to feel like there's something that happens naturally rather than this all being like, uh, which is what's happening as a product of doing this all the time. So up strums, a bunch more up strums in everything ever versus down, 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 and only going louder, quieter. That seems to be pinpointed. Um, cool. So hey, then the third rhythm is down, 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 up, down, up, like a hip hop beat or whatever, dum, dum, chicky, chicky. one that's two measures long just for funsies but I don't want you to do this after you got good at the first three. 
Um, and this is the most important thing we've done so far. Uh, this is part of, I back myself up by playing guitar right now. We're talking way more about that than what your normal parts are, which are more sophisticated. Um, so now we're going one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and, which is like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So there it is. This is the bad news. I can't say this enough times. The hardest part about getting decent on an instrument, especially when you're self-teaching, is that you realize there's stuff like this, like, wow, I never do strum up, you know, because of this. And, you know, that's the whole trip. That's why writing choruses and playing first position chords and stuff is not so intuitive to you. So let's just decide you're going to want to have choruses, you're going to want to strum, you're not going to want to have an entire catalog of songs where the first string is being used as a drum string the entire time. Even if you like these voicings and like to use them a lot and stuff, it's going to be, you know, we get to throw other high yeah. notes in there. So those are the things we definitely want to do. Um, and I think this song definitely, like, it's just as easy as strum during the chorus uh, and identifying what you're actually playing. Um, good news though, because not all my songs are like this, so mm -hmm. that's cool. So yeah, it's good to hear that because I do have. I was thinking that I didn't originally like have that much variation, but if I think about it like that, then yeah, actually I do. Yeah, anyway, so, you understand what I mean about this yeah. making up feel wrong? Like it's just I'm gonna play. Like oh yeah, yeah totally. So, yeah. Anyway, Absolutely. so I'm strumming. Learn some songs that are like easy that you actually like um, and strum. Uh, and that's what's up. Um, and then I'd really like you to try it in the previous song, uh, thousand, thousand Miles, Thousand Times. Just thousand. Thousands. <laughs> that, um, that it goes, but just for the sake of flow, try this. First verse, half as long where I wanted it. Then pre-chorus, and then you come back down to we're all on our knees. Mm -hmm. Just that's the first cycle, is the verse half as long, the pre-chorus, and then boom down back into the pocket for the chorus, which is unusual, but it serves the song to have the chorus be pulled back there. Then the second time around, do what comes naturally, do the double verse there. Mm -hmm. um, so even if it means that the, the lyrics end up awkward, you want to keep a line, and I think that's really what serves the song there. What we don't want are these sections that just drag on forever. We wanted, that's, that's the whole trip for you, is figuring out how to include dynamic shifts, however you do it technically with your hand um, and voice versus just, you know, getting loud when you sing at one point in the song. And, you know, this is supposed to seem counterintuitive and difficult, otherwise you'd already be doing it a bunch.